you know, if everyone's going to put it that way, then honestly, I wouldn't feel concerned by the entire incident as well, even if it happened in real life. And apart from this first shenanigan, our new character here did the taboo of paying the landlady, which is just heretical. And even worse, she did more work than usual for the store manager. I mean, if anything, she just unintentionally made He chans reputation better at the expense of her own sanity, which is definitely not poggers, but because this is a comedy, we get to laugh at her incompetence. As for the real He chan I have to say, she's like that gacha gamer where whenever a new rate up appears in the summoning tab, she just wails. And while she gets her desired unit, she's just dead in the water. And lucky for her, her mom decided to give her lunch money earlier than usual, and she gets to avoid that hilarious demise that she dreads so much. In any case, the final skit of cramming another issue of the manga is another fantastic post credit skit, and I just like the contrast that despite having a one-week break, the quality of this episode is still on par with previous episodes, unlike a certain anime that also airs today. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. I thank you all for watching and see you guys next week.